hello dear friends welcome back to Kathleen tutorial this is the part 3 uh, in this video I will show you how you can work with conditions in Kathleen F and when so let's get started in the previous video we yeah, learned uh, how we can work with variable types so in this video I will show you how you can work how you can work with uh, wet conditions okay uh, there is uh, F condition as like as uh, uh, as like as conditions we have in Java uh, just you type F here is true print some value hi else print some value mm, oops okay oops now f here was true then this block will be executed otherwise this block will be executed okay now the first block will be executed because we have true here and this will execute high if we have false here now this block will be executed if you have another statement here print len okay hello how are you now as you can see here is a problem because we have two statement in a single line so you should have here a semicolon okay then when you put a semicolon uh, when you does not have a bracket for your app you just put one statement here no two statement okay not two statement so the problem can be solved by a block okay now this two statement is in a single line just we put here semicolon okay now there is no problem okay as you can see hi hello world how are you and it works nice also if now I have this within an string for example type f was any now if we run oops as you can see here is shows us oops it is not same okay because this is an string but this is an integer if it does not have specify that that time we cannot put this if you have three equal assignment again here is problem because this is an string and this is an integer but if we have like this
now it cannot be accepted if we change this any now run as you can see now it is not equal and this works the same okay uh, when you make more statement in a single line you should put the semicolon uh, here the semicolon is necessary but but when uh, as you can see now uh, there is a problem but when you enter uh, or you put your next statement in the next line uh, here is uh, here is not necessary the semicolon okay also if you uh, if you have multiple statement for your else for your else you can choose the plot now you can have multiple statement okay you can have else else f else f also f a is equal to 100 and a is less than 100 as you can see here is less than it does not have unresolved uh, assignment also if we have equal it does not have this assignment okay to this So here is not still available. Now I want to print something here. Hi there. How are you? As you can see, hi there, how are you? This else if statement will be printed. Now the else will be printed. Oops. Okay. This was the if, and in the next video, I will show you how it works as like a switch thank you for your watching and see you in the next video goodbye